I, I think they can prove their worth as a top 25 team. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a fun team to, to follow because they're a fun excitement as far as how they play, their style. Uh, and, and, and Jaden Shoot is Jaden Shoot. I mean, we're talking about a Duke recruit. Yeah, they are without a doubt the team to beat in class 1A, but they beef that schedule up, and it's going to be interesting don't feel when they that. do play I'm some of those, sure, those heavyweights. I mean, obviously, they, they have a lot of right. yeah, 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 the number two player in the state. So my name is Jaden Shu. I'm from Yorkville, Illinois. Committed to Duke University. He doesn't just shoot three-pointers, people. He's everywhere. Yeah, Yorkville's a suburb of Chicago. It's about an hour southwest, and it's been nice. You know, it's got a lot of resources. But you know, I've lived in Yorkville my entire life. Definitely say since I've been able to walk, played some form of basketball. Some of my favorite memories from my kind of childhood basketball experience was definitely just going outside every day and just playing basketball. Just kind of playing on the mini hoop. Just kind of give a lot of credit to my athleticism, going up and kind of my coordination, and just kind of going outside and just kind of dunking a little hoop. So. To describe Jay's play style, I would say try to imagine somebody that can shoot lights out, but can also dribble and get to the paint, but they're athletic. So if you could kind of, I don't know, it's not really a player that I've seen that can do that, that can shoot it, that can go downhill, that can go dunk on you, can jump, put their head in the rim, things like that. I haven't seen anybody like that. I don't really have a name to give you, but if you can imagine that, I think that's the best description I can give you. First time meeting Jaden, it was the summer coming in my junior year. Like school's about to start soon and I was at a workout. And I honestly didn't even really know like him, like personally. I was just there just uh, working out and like, he was just regular, like he was just acting cool. We were just uh, working out and then the first time I was playing with him, it was actually it was actually in the workout. We were doing like uh, fives and we were just going. He was cool, like it wasn't nothing crazy. We was just playing, we was hooping. He's always in the gym, he's a gym rat. Um, he puts up countless hours in the gym shooting to just uh, working on his game. You can see it in his game because like every year that you watch him, you see he's getting better at something. So I would say his work ethic is second to none. He's always in the gym. And sometimes, you know, it's a little too much, but you know, I guess we can't get him off the court. Um, individually, some goals I have, I just want to go to school for free. I want to be able to go to a school where I'm, you know, like I'm wanted and um, I'll be able to play. I just want to go where I'm wanted and I just want to be able to play my game and not have to really sacrifice anything too much and you know I feel like I do that and prove it to my game. Jaden as a teammate slash leader I mean he's a great guy uh, he leads by example he's very vocal uh, he helps the guys when they don't know stuff uh, he helps me I mean it's just fun to play with him he's just a good leader overall good teammate and He's a hooper. Um, Jaden outside the basketball court, he's a regular kid, despite uh, what others may say, because he's going to Duke, but he likes to have fun. He likes to goof around. Um, he's a goofball, so yeah, he's just, he's just a regular kid. Some individual goals I have for myself, um, I want to go to college for free and play basketball, and I want to go uh, play somewhere that feels like home, and somewhere kind of like this, where all the guys are close-knit together, and it feels like family. You know, right now during the school season, kind of Saturdays is my main training day. So after practice, I'll get about a about an hour to 45, you know, 45 minutes to an hour workout, and then and then take Sunday off and go to church and kind of just relax. And you know, there's a, a lot of good hoopers around the Chicago area to kind of just go against and uh, you know help develop my game. Some individual goals for my senior year: I want to be Mr. Basketball, I want to be Gatorade Player of the Year. Yeah, and want to be a McDonald's All-American, and you know those are all goals I feel like are definitely um, attainable.
But we've got a great one on deck next. It's going to be St. Rita and Yorkville Christian. Battle of the two big schools in this tournament out of Chicago. You know, I, I think it's going to be between one of these two teams. I think this is really of the Washington Invitational. This is the championship game tonight, in my opinion. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I really like Jaden Shute and his game. But I also like the, the two uh, big guys down low for Chicago St. Rita. Cody's talking about Jaden Shute, the Duke commit. He's getting warmed up alongside his Yorkville Christian teammates. And boy, oh boy, do we have a doozy on our hands to wrap up day four of Kevin Brown Memorial Tournament of Champions. How about the starters for Yorkville Christian? It starts with KJ Vassar, perhaps the second best scorer on this Yorkville Christian team. And Jaden Shute, the 6'6", senior guard, committed and signed to go play at the Duke for John Shire next year. Tyler Burroughs also in the starting lineup. David Douglas Jr. and Elijah Fisher. Starting with Yorkville Christian on paper, they're a little outmatched in terms of size. Well, they gotta do their thing, you know, that is a really good point. But Jaden Shute, we know very well, can nail down some three pointers. How about this tip off matchup? James Brown, Jaden Shute, Chicago St. Rita, Yorkville Christian. Final game of day four at the TOC is underway. St. Rita wins the tip. Base in and out of traffic. Jaden Reyna, quick trigger three, in and out. Offensive board, Melvin Bell gets the scoring start. Knocked loose. Back to Bell and one. KJ Vassar, the response is off. Rebound batted around. And St. Rita coming out with some fire early on in this game. And one. A critical response for Tyler Burroughs. Ahead to James Brown, the left-handed slam. Gets it down to Johnson, he'll slam it home. Timeout taken by Yorkville Christian as they trail by 13 in the opening quarter. What a start for Chicago St. Rita. They've had some double teams on Jaden Shue. Not exactly playing at his highest level, but he can turn on any point. And he turns it on there. There's his first bucket. Right on cue. Case are just joining us. Yorkville Christian and Jaden Shute off to a slow start. Here comes Tyler Burroughs to the inside in the response. Back and forth we go. Two in a row, James Brown the jam! Kicks out KJ Vassar. The bucket, his second three of the day. Ahead to Vassar, the finger roll off the glass and in. Back to shoot. Pull up from 15. Tickles the twine. Easy double figures now. Vassar, no look pass. Start with three. Yes. One possession game. Melvin Bell blocked by Jake Shoot. Here comes Shoot. Gonna pull up from deep, got it! The Duke commit electrifying. Just like that, it's tied. 45 all. We've got a game, folks. I shoot. He'll pull up. Comes up short. Offensive board. Victor to shoot. He doesn't just shoot three pointers, people. He's everywhere. And that's how the half ends. Not it at 47 all. What a treat we just had in the first half.
It was all St. Rita early on, and then Yorkville Christian just comes storming back on the back of Jaden Shute. Of nine today, and boy, we are having the best game all day as expected we're tied at 47 between yorkville christian and chicago st rita this game is everything you could ask for if you're watching at home i i would hope that you are surely entertained with this one chicago st rita got off to a hot start up double digits over yorkville christian yorkville christian makes a beautiful late run they even push it up and they tie the game led by Jaden shoot I mean, what a performance from him. They're late, a late three, a dunk. He's been doing it all. A huge block from Jaden Shute. He is by far a standout for Yorkville Christian, but can't look away as well from K.J. Vassar. Davis Douglas Jr., they have been huge as well. K.J. Vassar, I mean, that guy is lethal from behind the three-point line. It, 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 much of the reason why Yorkville Christian is still in this game, they are knocking down threes when they need to to Johnson, double teamed. Finds the open man in Brown, two-handed slam. Always looking to finish off that dunk. Ready for it. Deep three, David Douglas. Euro step, shoot, there to tip it in. Uh oh, look out below. Here comes James Brown. Didn't quite take my suggestion to get some stops. <laughs> Easier said than done. The finish and the harm. Tyler Burroughs. AJ Vassar trying to end it on a make. He can't. St. Rita comes out with a 111 to 103 victory over Yorkville Christian in the Battle of the Mustangs. Game high belongs to Jaden Shute, 32 points. David Douglas Jr. tacked on 27, and KJ Vassar had. 25. After the St. Rita game, I mean, of course we weren't happy because we lost. We definitely felt like we could have won. It was certain things in the game that um, that hindered us from winning. But, you know, on the bus ride home, I, uh, we were still in good spirits. We weren't like mad at each other, like pointing fingers. That's not what we do. We're pretty together, win or loss. Um, we had good spirits. We went to go and get some food. You know, like, everybody was still like laughing and stuff. So it really didn't take a huge toll on us. I mean, of course we were hurt that we lost, but we weren't too hurt about it because, you know, it's the next game mentality, next play. I think the score was 103 to 111 or something like that. So it was a high scoring game. I feel like with the with the speed of the game like that, I feel like if we would have boxed out more and maybe got some more rebounds or maybe not took as many quick shots and took smarter shots, I feel like maybe the score would have been lower, but maybe we could have came out on top. As a team, the main goal we have for this season is just to win state. Um, kind of like the um, kind of like the we is greater than me thing. 
Um, we just want to win state. We want to prove to everybody that, you know, like we're at a small school, but we still can play, we still can hoop, and we want to win state just to prove everybody wrong. Not necessarily prove everybody wrong, but like, uh, like we want to prove ourselves right. Uh, number one, win state above anything. Um, winning state would mean everything to me. Uh, something I've been striving for, and we've been striving for. So some goals for my senior season, you know, definitely want to win a state championship. You know, that's one thing I've been talking to my team about, and we definitely feel like we have the capability to. And, you know, we're, every day in practice, we're, that's what we're striving for.